Hi, my name's John. Welcome to a series of videos reviewing this Artec CNC plasma table. Before I start, I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, obviously, my name's John. I've just said that. I've got a YouTube channel. Uh, the channel's called Double Boost. On my channel, I do machining, welding, plasma cutting, uh, steam engines, all the nice, interesting mechanical, practical things. I've used all type welding gear and cutting gear for quite a few years now. I have done quite a lot of reviews and videos for Artec. Um, so when Artec rang us up and says, John, would you like to do a review on a CNC plasma table? Well, it didn't really take us long to say yes. So anyway, to cut a long story short, uh, they sent it up. There's a table, computers, a plasma cutter. I'll go through the, the whole package. Uh, they sent it up. Uh, I went down to where uh, their headquarters at Gloucester and I did half a day's training, well, in fact I did a full day's training uh, on the CNC system because I'm not really, in fact I don't know much at all about CNC systems, I know plenty about welding and cutting and lathes but not, uh, not CAD design work but I am getting better. Anyway, while I was down there I went along to the, the unit where these things are actually assembled, um, they're totally made and assembled in the UK these legs are flat sheets of steel, cut out, bent, welded and painted in-house. All electronics are assembled in-house. Stepper motors are modified, assembled. The whole package is basically made in the UK. That's one thing that I really like about it because I do try and support UK based businesses. This unit came pre-assembled. Uh, basically they do this one which is two foot square. They do a two foot by four foot, a four foot square in a 4 by 8 This 2 foot by 2 foot is about all I can actually get into my small workspace I've got allocated for it. The first thing that impressed us was the build quality. This is all 5mm steel, folded, welded, bolted together with proper nuts and bolts. These rails are box section stainless, so when they wear that easy to replace. All the stepper motors are very well mounted, proper bearings, everything is if somebody says to me, John, can you build a CNC table? I would hope to be able to build a one like this. As an old saying, nothing too strong ever broke, and believe me, this is not going to break. We've got really nice cable runs, because often you find the cables get snarled up, but these are nicely done. The cables won't get snarled up, they've got nice runs. These slats. Obviously are replaceable, I have used it, I have burnt them a little bit. It comes with a water table, you put water in there, that takes away a lot of the horrible fumes and obviously some of the hot sparks. What I also found handy was, once I put the water in the water table, I was able to use that as a level to jack it up and the flow is pretty good in here, but it appears to have it lying nice and level. The attention to detail is very impressive, even things like the little guards hiding the, the gear on the end of the stepper motor, all the wiring's well clipped up, everything's set up nicely and everything's adjustable to take up any wear, but I think it'll take a long time to wear this out. This is the console that Artec supply, it comes flat pack, once again it's 5mm steel, bolted together, a lovely little unit, nice big monitor, that's an emergency stop switch, very important, <laughs> you've got to have one of them just in case you hit that, everything stops. The two computers can be stored down behind this, but what I've done, I've built a little cupboard and I'm going to keep mine in there up off the ground. Because normally you'd have the console a good distance away from the table because it has a long cable on the plasma torch. But I'm limited for space, so I've decided to put the computers up there and I'll probably put a screen across there just to keep any dust away from them. This is the plasma power unit for the machine. It's an Artec. P50 CNC plasma cutter. P50, it's a 50 amp cutter. I've got a, a high frequency version of this cutter that I use on a hand torch and I've really given that some stick and I've had no problems at all with it. I'll start off at the back of the machine because I normally do things arse first. Anyway, there's a double pull on off switch. There's a port there, that's where the computer control cable plugs into. There's an air regulator and a water trap. I've also got a big water trap on the wall. It's imperative that you have clean, dry air with plasma cutters. That's the power cable, 32 amp, 240 volts.
right in front of the machine I have done a review on a 50 amp high frequency hand plasma machine the controls are basically the same you've got a switch here that's a test for gas that tests your air, the air pressure you want to gauge there which shows the air pressure these run at about 70 psi that's your amperage control that says work piece that's where the earth feed goes earth onto your, your plate your cutting there's a fuse in there I've never ever had to replace a fuse yet and that's where your torch goes This is the PC that comes with the unit. I think it runs Windows XP Pro. Windows XP was always a very, very reliable program. Not like some of the later ones. Anyway, all your software is loaded in here. Everything you need to start cutting. There's a lot of tutorials, a lot of videos. All clever stuff. Easy to watch. Step by step instructions. On the back all we use is a, a parallel port and a monitor port. Power input straightforward nice little PC this is the control box for the plasma cutter it comes with a pre-wired torch head controller I'll go through this in more detail once we actually start cutting so that's pre-wired this is also pre-wired that's a trigger wire that goes into the back of the plasma cutter unit and that's what triggers it to start it cutting I bring the camera in and get a close-up shot in the back panel to show you what the various plugs are and the various connections. These are the four wires that go to the stepper motors. They're colour coded, you can't go wrong. Red to red, yellow to yellow, blue and green. There's a 240 volt input computer type cable with an on off switch. These connections here, the wires simply push in and lock into place. There's two for the emergency stop and two for the probe. As a parallel port in a USB connection. These are what the stepper motors plug into. I bring the camera in and show how they go into there. These DIN plugs only go in one way. They've got a little locating pin. That one goes in there like that. And this collar screws in and that pulls the plug firmly into the socket. Nice positive connection. It's not going to pull out, it's not going to give any problems. I mean, basically once these are connected, they're just left connected up. Obviously red to red, yellow to yellow, the four are all colour coded. Once they're screwed in, that's it, it can't go anywhere. All well proven equipment. Once these wires are pushed home, they really do get a good hold. The package comes with a PM70 machine torch. This is a direct replacement for a Hypertherm T45 torch. The consumables are readily available and very inexpensive. The torch fits into a custom made mountain which is all held on with one bolt so it's easy to set it up to make sure the torch is nice and square to the plate you're cutting you would use a, a set square on there to make sure it's all nice and true and square the cable comes with a steel support bracket that bolts on the either rear corner to support the plasma cable. The building I've got this in has got a lower roof so I've simply got mine clipped up there with plenty of slack in so I can get the full travel of the table without putting any undue tension on it. Yes. 